stepping it up again. Now we're at level three. So it says draw a point E that is a reflection of point A over the X axis. So hopefully if you watched the original video, um, what is a reflection and what does that really mean and how do we do that? Um, so here's what we're looking at. Here's point A. Again, we've already labeled this is the X axis and this vertical one is the Y axis. So we've labeled that. So we're saying, can you take point A and reflect it over this X axis? So it's going to move from where it is down to the bottom. It's two away here. So we're going to go two away from the X axis. And we technically call this A prime, but um, they asked us to call that D. So we're going to call it D. Or sorry, E. I don't know where I came up with E. So draw a point E that is reflected over A. Check. What is the distance between points A and E? Write the distance below and explain in words how you found the distance. So we're looking for a wrap response here. If we're explaining, we're looking for a restate the question, answer the question, provide proof. Um, so if we're going to explain this, we need to know this is coordinate 6, 2, and this coordinate is 6, negative 2. So I'm just going to stack those 6, 2, 6, negative 2. We notice the x coordinates are the same, so we can't really find a distance between those. But our y coordinates are different. And we notice that this one's in quadrant 1 and this one's in quadrant 4. So if they're in different quadrants, do we add or subtract? We should be adding. So we're going to be taking the absolute value of 2 plus the absolute value of negative 2 and finding out what is that distance. So we're going to get 2 plus 2 for this distance. 2 plus 2 is 4. The distance is 4. How would I go about explaining that? So what is the distance between point A and point E? So let's do a wrap response. Restate the question. The distance between A and E is. So I've just restated the question. Check. Now let's answer the question. It is what? What did we find the answer to be? It is four units. Sweet, I've answered it now. Okay, so now let's provide our proof. So where is my proof? I found this answer because, so if you were going to explain it in your terms, but I found this answer by using my distance equation with absolute value, by noticing that the x coordinates were the same, then I need to find the distance between the y coordinates. And I used my absolute value formula and calculated the distance between my y coordinates to be 4. Or I looked at the graph, I double checked with my equation, and I looked at the graph and counted from A down to E and went one, two, three, four units. You've got to find some proof. You've got to provide some kind of explanation. The restating and the answer part, that's super easy. So just do the final piece and give us a reason why and how you got there.